Mac Voices is supported by Text Expander by Smile. Find out just how powerful a few keystrokes can be at TextExpander.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner, and this is a Mac Voices briefing on two apps to help you prepare for Mac OS Catalina. Folks, we've been talking quite a bit on the show about the transition to Mac OS Catalina, which means the transition from 32-bit to 64-bit applications and the implications for you and the apps that you depend on. I found two utilities that I'd like to show you this time around, and I do mean show you. For the audio uh, folks, you probably are going to want to go to macvoices.com and watch this so that you can see what these apps look like. But I think it's really important to show you just how easy some of this can be and how these two utilities can help you prepare for the process so that you will know what apps are up to date, what apps will make the transition, and what apps you're going to lose if and when you upgrade to Mac OS Catalina. The first application is called Mac Updater, and it's from Core Code. This is an app I heard about from Dave Hamilton and John F. Braun on the Mac Geek Gab. Checked it out and realized just how terrific an app this is, really not just for the transition, but also just in general. What it does is it scans your entire hard drive, looks at apps, and gives you key information about those and what updates are available to those. This is especially pertinent for the 64-bit transition. This is my MacBook Pro uh, desktop with Mac Updater already launched. When it launches, it automatically scans your hard drive and finds all the applications, gathers up information about them, then reaches out across the internet and determines whether there are updates available, what kind of updates, and provides some additional information. So as you can see across the top, and I have it set to all apps, I can click and show outdated apps, which means uh, that these are all applications that I need to do updates for to bring them up to current if they're available. I can also hide or show uh, Mac App Store apps. Um, I can hide all unupdatable apps. I can show all apps. Um, It just depends on what exactly you're looking for. And of course, I can search as well. But the the whole idea here, first of all, is that you find all the applications on your hard drive. And honestly, I found some that I didn't even know were still there. Um, you also find that uh, find if there are duplicates. But the most important thing, in my opinion, is the the upgrading. Um, scrolling down here, you can see I can do several c- different kinds of upgrades. Now there are manual upgrades, and if you click a manual upgrade, let's just say for eCam, um, it gives you information on what I may or may not be able to do as far as upgrading within Mac Updater. I can launch the app, I can go to the app's home page, or I can skip, which in this case I will do, since there's no reason to, to go through that. Um, here is an update for Feeder, uh, an application I use to create the RSS feeds for Mac Voices. I did not know that there was an update available, so I'm going to hit Upgrade the app, and this is, says it's a major version upgrade, and so I may or may not be required to buy a new license. So it will let me continue if I want, or I can cancel. I will hit continue, and you can see it is doing, attempting to do the upgrade from within the app itself. And in this case, the update failed. The destination destination path seems to be in use. So that's an upgrade I will have to do on my own. But if I scroll down a little for, farther and find one, so let's look at MacPar Deluxe. Um, it, this gives me the option to update, and if I hit the update there, what it will do is it will do the update right within Mac Updater. And now it is gone because I'm showing all the outdated apps. But if I go back to all apps and scroll down, I will find MacPar Deluxe. Now it is current. You see it's in green as opposed, as opposed to the red ones, which still need updated. And it's done. So I, I can do the updates in some cases. Here's one for Make MKV. Do the same thing. Do the update from within Mac Updater. And in some cases, I've had to provide my password to give Mac Updater access to do the update. But that's no different than giving anything else uh, an, an access when you're doing an update. So if I scroll down again a little bit, uh, here's Mountain. Let's tr- let's update Mountain. Uh, 
And then, of course, it shows that I have successfully updated the app. So this is a great way to go through and not only find out what apps need to be updated and what don't, but also in the case of apps you've forgotten about, um, you may want to mark those for deletion using a trash utility, and that's a whole other show. Um, but it, or to find out if you have duplicates. In a couple cases, I found that I had applications that were unfortunately living in my downloads folder and had not been properly relocated over to my applications folder. So a lot of different things you can you can get out of this particular app, and that alone is terrific because. At the very least, you want to make sure you are as close to current when you go to upgrade to Mac OS uh, Catalina when the time comes. Smile and Text Expander are sponsoring this edition of Mac Voices. Do you want to do something quick and easy to improve your productivity? Want something that is bulletproof that will improve the quality of your work? Are you looking for a utility that can integrate with just about any program on your Mac to make it better? If so, you're looking for Text Expander from Smile. Text Expander works pretty much everywhere on the Mac, inside just about any program. Desktop publishing, email, web publishing, browsers, task management applications, chat applications, the list goes on and on. Because all of those require text entry, and Text Expander helps you enter text quickly and accurately. Have a word, phrase, paragraph, or page that you need inserted regularly? Text Expander does it with a few keystrokes. Have a word that you misspell frequently? Text Expander can help you fix that so that it never happens again. Want to standardize wording to customer inquiries across your entire team? Text Expander is the answer. With almost no learning curve and massive payback on the time invested, you should be using Text Expander. Visit TextExpander.com right now, download a free trial, and find out what so many of the productivity experts already know. Text Expander from Smile the makers of world-class software. Thanks to Smile for being the longest-running sponsor of Mac Voices. The other application when you pair uh, this one with that application, and that's Go64 from St. Clair Software. Now, we had John Goto uh, on the show a little while ago talking about default folder, but we also mentioned Go64 there. And I want to show you what Go64 looks like and what it can do during this process. Back to my MacBook Pro desktop and I have launched Go64 and so this explains a little bit about what it does which basically it scans the hard drive, finds the applications and lets you know whether they are 64-bit or not. So I'm going to show you this. I'm going to let it do its scan and it has done the, the results of the via scan and it takes me through and if you can see the interface is rather similar because um, I can scan my drive, my internal drive, I can scan external drives, I can scan for applications or all ex executables, and I can show the results with the 64-bit only, the 30-bit, 2-bit only, or all. And in this case now I will choose all. And I get to take a quick run through and see everything that is 64-bit in this column, yes or no. Uh, interesting that Final Cut has a warning. Um, there are quite a few here that are yes, which is a good thing. And then we get down a little farther, and there are a whole lot of no's. So these are apps that I need to go back and review and make sure that there are updates available, or if not, I need to make a decision on whether I can find a replacement or whether this is going to delay my transition to Mac OS Catalina. One other really nice feature is that, um, let's just say that Scan, Scan Snap Manager, um, I can check and see what the upgrade cost is and enter it in here. And Go64 will keep that information for me and give me an idea of what it's going to cost me in software upgrades, assuming they're paid upgrades, of course, uh, what it's going to cost me to move to Mac OS Catalina. And of course, across the top here, you can see that I can launch the app from within Go64. I can show it in the Finder. Actually, I can move it to the trash. Uh, I can go to the app's website um, or do a quick web search if I'm having trouble finding the app. All nice little touches uh, that make the, the identification of apps and what needs to be done with them a whole lot easier. 
I thought it was especially important for you to see these apps in action and see what they can do, what they look like, and how approachable they are. Combining the two, I'm definitely going to be going through using a Mac Updater, making sure everything is as up-to-date as I can get it, then run Go64 and find out just how many of those apps that I have that are as absolutely current as possible need to be upgraded either through a paid upgrade or a full version upgrade, or do I will I be putting those on the list of apps that I have to abandon when I move to Catalina? So, and of course, as always, I can't stress enough, back up, back up, and back up. Uh, you may want to back up even before you run these utilities because we are randomly updating things. And while both of these apps have a great reputation, their developers have a great, great reputation, still some things can go wrong. So I would encourage you to have backups and definitely have backups before you contemplate the upgrade to Mac OS Catalina. So again, that's Go64 from St. Clair Software and Mac Updater from Core Code. Mac Updater is $9.99 um, after you've deleted uh, or used it 10 times to update 10 applications. Um, Go64 is free from St. Clair, but they do ask for donation. And I would tell you that it's well worth uh, throwing John and St. Clair Software a few bucks for this because it's going to make your life so much easier. The proposition of moving to Catalina and having to go through all those steps to upgrade apps and figure out what apps will run and which ones won't is, is kind of a daunting Thing. And I'm hoping that by seeing these two apps in action, you will realize how easy it is, or at least it's not as difficult as you thought it was going to be, to make some of those determinations and get an organized list of what your plan of action needs to be in making the transition. I'm Chuck Joyner. That's a Mac Voices briefing. I hope it helps you. I'll be back with more soon. Thanks for watching. Visit MacVoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at BackbeatMedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at Cashfly.com.